Hello students, welcome to Mechanics of Machine. My name is Jafet Kapesha. I will be taking you through this unit. And in case you have a question, please don't hesitate to reach me through my email address and uh, contact number which is available in the e-learning platform. This is a very interesting uh, course and we will learn more about it. So today we will start with belts and clutches. So what is a belt and where do we use belts? So belts are used to transmit power from one shaft to another by means of pulleys which rotate at same speed or at different speeds. So our primary concern is that we want to transmit a power from one workstation to another workstation. So one method to do that is to use a belt or to use a rope or to use a chain. But today we want to specifically narrow down to the use of belts. So there are a number of factors which affect the power, amount of power that is transmitted from one shaft to another by the use of belts. There are four main factors and six sub factors. So to begin with the four main factors, one, we need to take into account the velocity of the belt. That is, at what speed is the belt rotating? The second factor is that the tension under which the belt is placed on the pulleys must be considered because we do not want to make the belt tighter to the pulley for this will generate more friction and lead to failure of the belt. And we do not want to slacken it because it will easily slip over the pulleys. The third factor is the arc of contact between the belt and the smaller pulley. The arc of contact should be large enough for the smaller pulley so that there is maximum power transmitted. The last condition is that the condition under which the belt is used. So this is, we can explain this by considering the physiological factors like the environmental temperatures. If the temperatures are too high, then we need to secure our belt from overheating and melting. So we need to take into account the conditions under which the belt is used. Students, now let's discuss the six sub-factors that we should be considering when transmitting power using a pulley and a belt from one station to another. The first is that the shaft should be properly aligned to ensure uniform tension across the belt section. Then the pulley should not be too close together in order that the arc of contact on the smaller pulley may be as large as possible. We desire this arc of contact to be bigger. So if you put your pulleys close together, then you will lose this arc of contact. The pulleys should not be so far apart as to cause the belt to weigh heavily on the shaft, thus increasing the friction loads on the bearing. If you have far apart pulleys, then the belt length will be uh, longer and this will add frictions to the bearings and lead to the failure of the pulleys. A long belt also tends to swing from side to side, causing the belt to, to run out of the pulley which in turn develop crooked spot in the belt. The tight side of the belt should be at the bottom so that whatever sag is present on the loose side will increase the arc of contact at the pulleys. In order to obtain good results with flat belts, the maximum distance between the shaft should not exceed 10 meters and the minimum should not be less than 3.5 times the diameter of the larger pulley. Students, it's very important to know the types of belts which are widely used in industries and factories. One, we have flat belts, two, we have V-belts, and the last one, we have circular belts. And these belts are used in factories based on the applications. For instance, the flat belts are used to transmit moderate amount of power 
from one pulley to another and we use it where the pulleys are positioned uh, less than eight meters apart so to me maybe something like seven meters six meters five meters and the v-belt now the difference between flat belt and v-belt is that v-belt also is used to transmit moderate amount of power but it is used where the pulleys are very close to each other so that's the difference and circular belt or ropes we use them to transmit large amount of power and especially when the two shafts are wide apart something like uh, more than eight meters apart but less than 10 meters apart dear students this is the last lecture this our the, the end of our lesson for the first lecture uh, let's meet again in the next class thank you for listening and watching